Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. I just wanted to give you an update on the status of the build for the ESP32 Game Boy Color. So, the select button is now back again, so you can go backwards and forwards through the menu. And all emulators that you see in this list here are currently functioning as intended. There's no more system halts or crashing. I'll give you a quick example of a game or two. As you can see, that's Nintendo Entertainment System. Let's see about. Let's try some Mario. Well, I guess maybe. No, I can't do Duck Hunt. I don't have a zapper hooked up. You can see it works though. I can control the duck, but that's it. That's my fault for clicking on Duck Hunt instead of Mario. But oh well. Game Boy works fine. There's nothing to report there. Everything's as expected. Though you do have the... You can go into the color, or the color, the options menu here. And go all the way down to more. And then you can play with your color palette. So you can have Super Game Boy... You can just change the colors. See how the background's changing here? I actually prefer Super Game Boy, which is why I've left it as such. But there you go. So there's all of that. Now, Halloween Racer, I like this game, and it's Halloween soon, so I figured I would, uh, you know, show it there. Just going through everything real quick, basically. There's still a couple more systems that we're going to see if we can add, such as Atari 2600, maybe Supervision. Not quite done yet, but... I mean, this image is fully working and usable, it's just that we're trying to add more to it, so there should be updates in the future. That's all. doesn't really matter what game I load, I'm just showing you guys that they do load and don't crash. PC Engine is also working now, which I'm happy about. That sound when we close PC Engine might have to get fixed, I suppose. But other than that... Light years ahead of where we started a few weeks ago.
Super Nintendo, I don't recommend using. There are a few games that work, but it lacks the buttons for it, really. And that's about it. Uh, the download link for this, for those of you that do have this device, is already on my website on the My Retro Game Case tab. That's going to do it for this video. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. Happy Halloween.